So it's been a few days since I did all that shopping, and here is everything that I got. First, from the cute stationery and gift store, I got this little notepad by Rifle Paper Co. because their whole brand is a huge inspiration to me, at least in this current phase that I'm in. Just the story of the humble beginnings of their business to the huge international brand that they are now, everything about that is just so inspiring to me. I also just love how decorative and cute their illustrations are, and along the same lines as that is this little sticky note set that I got from a different store. I guess I've just been really digging this cute, slightly wonky aesthetic lately, and this particular aesthetic is pretty much the inspiration for my sketchbook session today. I kind of want to try out painting in this simple, cute style a little more just to see how it fits for me, especially because I think I want to eventually make stationary products like this. Then I got this little deck of cards. My partner and I have been meaning to pick up a deck of cards for a while, but I've been refusing for the longest time because being me, I didn't want to get any plain deck of convenience store cards. The style also really coincidentally reminds me of rifle paper, so it's even right on theme. Moving on to art supplies. So I lied and I didn't just get the white paint and paintbrush. I actually went back and got two more sketchbooks. I've been researching what sketchbooks to get next for a little while now, and since I'm really close to finishing my current one, I thought now is the time to get two new ones. I'm probably going to make a video comparing these sketchbooks in more detail, but basically this one is the Stillman and Byrne Zeta series sketchbook, and this one is the Stillman and Byrne Alpha series. The Zeta series is a smooth, heavyweight 270 GSM paper, and the Alpha is a medium grain 150 GSM paper. I honestly love my Strathmore Mixed Media sketchbook, and I have very little complaints about it so far, but I also just want to weigh my options, especially since I've heard so many good things about the Stillman and Burns. So far, the Alpha series feels a lot like the Strathmore Mixed Media paper. It's just a bit thinner, which I wanted because then I can be less precious with it and feel more free to make ugly paintings or experiments. Next, I got this paintbrush and a tube of Zinc White Gouache by M. Graham. As I said earlier, it's already been about a week since I got this and I've done a lot of painting since then, so I've already used this paintbrush many many times and I'm also already halfway through this tube. I think this paintbrush is okay so far. It's the Glacier series by Princeton in a size 2 round, and the point is holding up okay. The only thing is that the bristles have already started to come off after just a week. It honestly might just be me being too aggressive with my brushes though, because it looks like this happens with all of my Princeton brushes. I think they just might be more suitable for watercolor instead of a thicker medium like gouache. As for the white gouache, I've actually never used zinc white paint before. I've only ever used titanium white, so I was curious what the difference actually is between the two whites. I've seen how dramatic the difference is with oil paints, like the zinc white is super translucent, and it looks like it does an amazing job at retaining vibrancy when you mix it with other colors, whereas the titanium white is a lot more opaque and is good for highlights or to knock down the saturation of a color. However, I don't know if it's just me, and I don't know if there's a better way to test this, but I'm not really seeing a huge difference between these two at all. I have the zinc white on the left and the titanium white on the right, and I'm mixing pretty much equal parts of the white with red and white with yellow. I think if you're being really picky, the zinc white does look ever so slightly warmer, but I definitely don't think the difference is enough to make me pick up one over the other. On to the sketchbook session. After doing my last screen cap painting from Klaus, I started looking into more movies to potentially do scene studies of, and this particular style here is so recognizable that you may already recognize right away that it's from Totoro. I started my sketchbook session with a color palette in mind, but I wasn't sure how much detail I wanted in the scene. 
I knew that I wanted to go for an overall flatter look, so I knew how I wanted the sky in the background to look, but I was still unsure of how much detail I want in the grass, because it is closer to the viewer and I wanted a bit more visual interest. I tried a few variations and ended up liking the look of this one here the most. Even though it's not perfect, I think that this would make such a cute notepad design. Like maybe if I pushed the horizon down a bit so there's more writing space. And now with the background more or less out of the way, I wanted to make sure that the flowers in the foreground really stood out, which means I need to figure out how I want to paint flowers and other botanical elements. I'm really loving the color palette that I kind of accidentally created, so I used that as a jumping off point and painted a little lemon branch with the same color scheme. Then I looked up a bunch of flower references with the goal of really simplifying the lines because these flowers and elements are going to end up being quite small, I imagine, if it's going to be printed on stationery, for example. I also don't want to accidentally include details or shading that will make it look more three-dimensional like I have in the past, just because that's not the aesthetic I'm going for today. So I guess that's all I have to say for this sketchbook session. I think that since I'm so close to the end of the sketchbook here, I will maybe do a sketchbook tour for next week's video. I'm still thinking about it though because this has been a really messy, ugly sketchbook full of failed experiments, so I really don't know if it's worth showing. But anyway, I'm going to sign off and let you watch the rest of the painting. Thank you for watching!